What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been kind of a fat minute since I made a video. It's been a couple weeks, but I have been traveling around on a few backpacking and hiking trips and, uh, and so on. So I haven't really been home uh, able to make videos, but I've got a bunch of content that hopefully will roll out within the next few weeks. Uh, but in today's video, I thought today would be a good uh, time to go over the kit that I've been using uh, so far in 2020. The main piece of that kit being in my hand right here, which is the Sony a7 III. I'm coming up on two years of having this camera, and let me tell you, I'm going to do a review strictly on this camera because um, it has been a blast to use, and it has been the main catalyst in what I do and what I create, so uh, it's, it's going to get its own video sooner than later. But today, I just wanted to go over briefly what I kind of rock and what my main uh, pieces of gear are in my kit. Before we get started, I would just like to say, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and hit the follow button. This is my Instagram right here. I post a lot of photography and just behind the scenes stuff uh, on there as well. And then if this is your first video, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Thanks for clicking on the video. We love all things videography and photography related here. So if that's your thing, stick around, you might enjoy it. Okay, I took a picture of everything for the thumbnail and I'm gonna have to go off that because I would probably forget something because that's just who I am. So we already touched on this. The main heart of the kit is the Sony a7 III. This thing has been a beast and I love it to death. Uh, it shoots 4K uh, at 30 for video and then 1080 at 120 for video. So you can get a, a little bit of slow motion. It's 24 megapixels, shoots 10 frames a second uh, for your continuous drive mode. It's a beast. Those are some just basic stats of it. But uh, I've loved it. It's, it does fantastic for both video and photo. Uh, as far as like an overall hybrid camera, I would like to say that it has been one of the best. I think there might be some that are better out there now, but I would still put it uh, in the top tier as far as the best ones, especially starting out or even if you are a little bit more intermediate. It's been a fantastic camera. Moving on to the two lenses that I rock. I rock the 2470 f2.8 G Master lens, which I'm using to record currently. And then I also rock the 70 to 200 f4 G lens. I was gonna get the G Master of the 70 to 200 as well, but they ran out and then there was a really, really good sale on the 70 to 200 f4. So I was like, well, what the heck, I'll just get this one. So far, both these lenses have proved to be the only two lenses that I've needed for what I do. I will probably branch out and get some primes and other things, you know, later on. But as far as overall quality and just doing what I need, uh, these two lenses have been great. Uh, the, tw the 2470, if I'm being honest, kind of just lives on my camera. I don't really ever take it off. Um, a lot of people, I also got that on a really good deal. So I will, I will agree that it is a little bit pricey. Um, but if you can find it for the right deal out there, um, I would say it's very, very worth it. It's very sharp. Uh, it's pretty robust. It's actually taken a few blows. Um, and it's it's still it's still kicking so um, I can highly recommend it and then as well as the 7200 highly recommend that as well for it being the f4 version um, I I still think it's pretty sharp and it does the trick um, I don't ever really use it for video because I mean, I mean the autofocus isn't the best if I'm being completely honest but um, as far as for photos it gets you some pretty sharp images as far as filters go the only one that I use is the Peter McKinnon VND um, just I think the version one um, is what I got and then it's the six to nine stop so I don't have the two to five and I honestly probably will pick up the two to five the reason I got the six to nine is also I found it on a really good deal uh, and then I also do a lot of like sunset uh, photos and other things like that 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 works pretty well for um, and then as well as shooting in broad broad daylight if you're doing if you're shooting in you know just like midday just harsh light it actually does a pretty good job so um, I probably will get the two to five stop, but the six to nine has been great. And uh, just the overall, the, the filter has been phenomenal. Okay, for my drone, I've been using this guy. This is the Mavic Air 2, not the 2S, just the Air 2, because it was, well, it's only a year old and I, I wasn't going to upgrade. <laughs> this thing has also been a beast and does pretty much everything I needed to do. Um, the Air 2S looks fantastic, but I didn't see a reason to upgrade from the Air 2 if I'm being completely honest. So. Uh, this guy's been great. I don't know if you could see from the close-up footage that I just showed, but I already crashed it, and uh, it uh, it took a hit. It took a big hit, and I ran it into someone's face. So, uh, sorry, Lucas. But, uh, no, he's, he's fine. The drone's fine. It, it all was okay. He was wearing a bike helmet. Uh, but that just goes to show, be extremely careful if you're trying to get some creative shots. Um, just properly uh, plan things out and make sure you're high enough. Um, and then also just make sure that, you know, you're being smart with it. Was that the smartest thing in the world when I was trying to get that shot? Probably not, but everything turned out okay and I never did it again. So, um, yeah, just be careful. As far as on the go audio goes, um, I've had the Video Mic Go, I think it's called by Rode. 
Um, I've had this for years and it's been, I mean, it just does the trick. I don't really, I probably will get a better mic eventually, but it's just been something that's kind of like on the back of my to-do list because this thing just still does a really good job. So I think this is like what, 80 to hundred bucks, somewhere in there, but, uh, it's fantastic. It does the job that I need. And, um, yeah, I, I don't really see a point in upgrading right now. Maybe eventually. I don't know. It does the trick though. Moving right along as far as action cameras go, I rock this guy. This is the Hero 8 Black by GoPro. Um, this was the first GoPro that I got in, I think, forever. Um, my buddy had a Hero 3, I believe, like forever ago. And then that was the only GoPro that I used aside from this. So technically, this is my first GoPro. And it's been great. The reason I got the 8 um, is because I love the fact that the little thing is built, the like the little mount is built in. Also, I know a lot of people were complaining like, oh, it's probably going to break. I've had zero issues with it so far, um, and it's still just as solid as from when I got it. Um, the only thing I will say about the Hero 8 that I dislike is that you cannot put the little filters on and off or whatever. I know they, that like Polar Pro and other companies make little clip-on ones that you can still put on there and you can still utilize filters. But I loved the I loved the idea of being able to just replace it because if this like front glass cracks, you have to like send it into GoPro and it's a whole issue. Whereas with like the seven or now the nine, uh, you can just screw it on and off and you're good to go. And then the last piece of the kit is what also is being used currently. It is a oh, I actually don't know what tripod it is. Hold on, Vanguard VO2 235AB tripod I think is what it's called. Um, that's a, the tripod I've been rocking. I also got that for a really good deal <laughs> and uh, it's been it's been really good. It is a like a ball joint head. I prefer the ones that have like the, the handles and the swivels, but it still does a really good job. I, I use it for everything that I need a tripod for and I don't really complain. Also it's a durable as heck that has fallen down the sides of like hills before uh, with some rocks and it has held up so. Uh, Vanguard's really good as far as like all their tripods go. That's kind of the only I look at them and then probably Manfrotto and that's pretty much it. But aside from that, everything else is my cleaning kit, uh, my SD card, and then a nice little single point sling from Case Logic that I got for $6. Again, a really good deal. That's kind of the key to like this whole industry. Well, key to anything really. If you can find it for a good deal, uh, always buy it, <laughs> always buy it. And then as far as storing that kit and then hauling it around everywhere, I've got the Peter McKinnon uh, Nomadic bag. Came out with a day bag version just recently, but this is the first version. Um, and let me be honest, this thing is awesome. I actually um, converted it to be a backpacking bag and worked with hauling all of my like camping kit. And this is a picture of it on the field. Uh, and it's it's pretty sick. It does it it works. It forces me to be pretty like. I guess frugal with this fart like with everything that I bring uh, which is good it's a good thing because you don't ever want to necessarily overpack because then you're you know you've got more weight than you can uh, than you need but uh, it, it does the trick it for like two to three days so like two nice three days the, that kind of backpack trip um, I'm able to put all the clothes I need in there and then everything else as far as like food and other things so although I will say I always go with buddies um, I have never backpacked by myself I don't know if that's a good idea um, in general, but I will say my buddy carries our um, tent for me. Everything else I can carry, like as far as my sleeping pad, sleeping bag, everything. Um, but I am not able to fit the tent in here, so I will say that it doesn't fit everything. Um, so, but if you're if you're backpacking with friends and you know people that can also carry other things, um, you know that you should be fine. This thing has been beat to hell. I will say it's probably not designed at all for it. But you know what, I, I said, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try it because, uh, you know, might as well. That is something I do think we need though. I think we need like a backpacking bag uh, that is like a standard backpack bag that, you know, anywhere from like 75 to 85 liters or whatever, uh, but it has like camera slots. That's the biggest thing because I had backpack, you know, dedicated backpacking bags. I'm saying backpack so many times. <laughs> I had those bags and the biggest thing is I, I couldn't put my cameras anywhere. Um, or like any of my gear because it's literally just a giant hole. It's just a you know one pocket that you throw everything in So it's just it's kind of a mess to try to store your uh, camera stuff in there And then also quick access is you know, there's no quick access at all So um, that's the reason I bought this uh, and then I thought to myself You know what I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to take it on these backpacking trips and see how it works And it works fantastic as the you know photographer videographer of the group um, you know, it's it pays off because you can get pictures and videos of everyone, you know, of the trip. You can document the trip um, with your, you know, your good gear and not just an iPhone. Um, so 
it, it definitely works, but I do think we need, um, if Peter McKinnon or anyone, if anyone ever watches this, um, we need a backpacking bag that has like photographer, camera, whatever pockets for it. So it still has all the space for everything else, uh, but it has like a dedicated slot, like I, on the top or the bottom for some camera gear. I think that would be sick and I think it would sell pretty well. Anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And again, if this is your first time joining me on the channel, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and then if you did enjoy it, go ahead and consider giving me a like down below and also subscribing for future content. It helps me out a ton, uh, as well as I've got a bunch of fun stuff planned in the future, uh, including what I'm currently recording on. If you notice, I've had my a7 III over here. I actually got a new uh, dedicated video camera that I am super psyched about, and I cannot wait until I can start shooting some projects. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Enjoy your life out there, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.